Hi Cancer, welcome to your the message you need to hear reading. This is the counterpart to what they're not telling you. Um, everything you need to know, hello, about this reading is in the description box below. All right, Cancer. The Hanged Man. Full disclosure, you, Scorpio, and Pisces are intertwined. Now, we used to be just Pisces and Scorpio. Now it feels like, or I mean, Pisces and Cancer. Now it feels like Scorpio's getting thrown in there too. But um, anyway, we got the Hanged Man here, which is... Uh, it could be Pisces, doesn't have to be, but this is all about something being in suspension in order to, basically there's a hands off. Something is either out of your control or it's just not meant to be. There's too many things working against what you want. So it's easier just to let go until a sacrifice can be made. It's about surrendering to how things need to be right now. Uh, again, it could also be Pisces. Five of Swords. Okay, so there's been some arguing and fighting. Um, this could be Libra. Doesn't have to be, but there's been arguing and fighting. Uh, possibly drama. Maybe somebody's, there's cutting words, hurtful cutting words. And it, maybe an, an apology is in order. All right, Cancer. I don't normally do that, but okay. We've got, ooh, marriage. Marriage. A, a marriage, a committed, committed, connected partnership. Nine of Wands. Oh, Eight of Cups. Wow. Ten of Swords. Chariot. That could be you, Cancer. And the Nine of Swords. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. So what's this justice about here? What's this justice about? Hmm. Perhaps things were quite heavy for a while, um, and there was a lot of bickering and a lot of just just arguing for the sake of arguing. It wasn't even purposeful anymore. Um, maybe someone wants some recognition for how hard they worked or how hard they worked at the relationship, that it meant a great deal to them. It was hard work, but it was also a point of pride for them, um, and they fought for the relationship. They, they gave a lot to the relationship, and there needs to be a reckoning for that, Cancer. Um, either you feel that way about the person or they feel that maybe they're owed an apology. What's this four of wands about? Wow. Okay. They're still confused about this, um, this ending or this, I mean, never a dull moment, I guess, but. Perhaps there was, again, this is Pisces, but they really feel like this partnership or this marriage, live-in situation, domestic, whatever it was, this connected, committed partnership that you had, because this indeed, by all accounts, is a marriage. Um, there was a lot that they were deceived about or that there was a lot, apparently, in retrospect, they feel like they didn't know. Um, what's this Nine of Wands about? They have left. They, they are not in the picture anymore. It looks like they've, they've walked away. Um, what's this Nine of Wands about? I feel like it's about getting control back. They're defensive and they're mad. You know what? I feel like this is them not telling you directly, but talking about you to all their friends. And telling anyone who will listen because they're still pissed they're still mad they they feel like this um they were just there was some deception in the marriage or in the relationship there was the more the distance they get from it the more distance they get from it they could have even moved um they're finding what they feel are holes or are um is deception uh things were not as they seemed this could also be that they might think that, oh, somebody has needs to deal with some subconscious issues. You know what I mean? They could be putting it off on that, like saying, oh, well, that person's, you know, a hot mess. They need to deal with some their issues. But either way, I feel like they're talking to anyone who will listen about it. Um, they're they're mad. 
What's this Eight of Cups about? I, I, I feel like this is Pisces and this is Pisces. I'm sitting here going, you know what, Pisces? No, this is Cancer, but damn Cancer. What's this Eight of Cups about? I got Pisces stuck on the brain. I need to like a sticky or something in front of me because I, I fall down a rabbit hole. I start fixating and then I'm like, ah, oh, Pisces. Surprised I didn't say Libra. Here's Cancer over here. Wow. So they basically they left to be able to make progress with their life. Maybe they're waiting on you to hear from you. Um, and it looks like they did move far away. So now there's distance between you two, but, uh, it could also be too. This is just about decisions and choices. Maybe they in leaving now they're like, you know, I'm still thinking about what to do. Maybe they want to hear a decision from you cancer. Um, but this is all about them leaving and starting anew, basically for forward progress and movement in their life. Now they've, this, whatever happened is, is irrevocable. And maybe that's why there's this, um, there's this hands off now to where this might be you feeling frustrated. Like there's absolutely nothing you can do because this is a definitive ending. I think this is beyond things being in crisis. I think there's, we've got the five of swords here and then we got the 10 of swords. I think things were pretty bad. There might've even been hurtful, hateful words, hateful communication, you know, what's this 10 of swords. Yeah, they feel like it's a good decision to have ended it. They feel pretty solid on this decision, but they're still mad. I think them moving out, moving away, um, or just leaving the relationship, ending the relationship, is um, so that they can start making progress and moving forward with their life. Even if they, you know, I feel like they're still... There still might be some feelings there, but they would never let anybody know that. Part of this right here is because part of this being so mad is because they were there was a love there at one time. There was a, an incredible attachment and love there at one time. And that's probably why they want an apology because they feel like, you know what, we had something once and you single-handedly destroyed it. I mean, that could be cancer, how they're feeling, you know. We got being, feeling cut off and cut out and cutting words and hurtful and then we've got just this irrevocable ending here and we got a couple of nines here but that's receipt um that also speaks to putting up with a lot before you finally start to crack before the cracks start to show so this is somebody that they feel they have been through it that they put in a lot of work because we got the ten of wands here so this is somebody cancer feeling like you know they um they're owed and I think part of the reason they're pissed is because after all they've been through, all of a sudden now they're starting to feel like they were deceived or lied to. Again, this could be that you're dealing with a Pisces. Um, but yeah, okay. And But they do feel like it was a good decision to walk away and leave. They're still trying to fully um, end things emotionally. I think they're, this is also about making progress and planning for the future. They could be waiting on a decision from you, although I very, very seriously doubt it. They have not it doesn't look like you're in communication with them. Um, and I doubt you two are talking. So I don't, I mean, they, here they are across the board. It's a definitive ending. They feel led astray, if anything, and they're pissed. But then they're turning around waiting to hear back from you. I don't think so. Um, if they're waiting to hear from you, if they're waiting on a decision, it could be they, they would like to hear an apology from you. But other than that, I feel like this is them trying to make progress and plan for their own life moving forward. All right, so what's... What's this chariot about here for cancer? What's this chariot about for cancer? That's the eight of swords. Okay, so that could speak to uh, hmm, not knowing how to move forward from this. That you're just, you're round and round you go, that you've been, maybe there's movement, but it's not forward movement. You just keep rehashing the past um, or it, it feels like you can't move forward, that you don't know how to move forward. And this is you, Cancer, that this is not knowing what to do. You got the car loaded, there's gas in the tank, but you don't know where to go. That's what this is. You're all ready. You're sitting pretty. You're ready to do it. 
You got everything you need. You just don't know how to move forward. You don't know where to go. You don't know what to do. All right. Cancer. 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 Is this Nine of Swords? Hmm. Okay. So we've got the sun here, which could be Leo, and then the seven of pentacles. And that, maybe they want to hear that you're just as heart sick over this as they are. Because part of the reason why they're mad is maybe they feel like things really worked out for you. You know, that by all accounts, appearances and what they've been hearing about you and whatnot is that things are just fine where you're at. They feel like you just got, got clean, you know, got away scot-free and then here they are just like painfully maybe they even had to move out or whatever and they just feel like you're it didn't even bother you and maybe they would like to hear that you that again that you're sorry and that you have regrets and that you don't know how to work things out or maybe that you'd want to work things out that you would like to work things out but you don't know how that you're sorry that you're working on improving things that you would like another chance maybe they want to hear that and like I said, I feel like they're not, they're not all the way, there's been a definitive ending. So I don't know what an apology, coming back and apologizing and telling them that you had regrets would do, honestly, but they're still in it emotionally because we got mad and we got telling all their friends, but we've got them still very much in review and still, um, still thinking about it emotionally, still, still there emotionally, even though they feel like it was a good decision to end things. Or it was an ending to a solid relationship. We got this over here too. But they're finding that, oh my gosh, what didn't you tell me? How how could I not see this? How could I have been so deceived? You know? All right, Cancer. 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 Wow. <laughs> it says give back. I don't know, Cancer. Maybe, maybe you need to go and apologize or make. Um, this showed up with. I think this showed up with Pisces too. Did it? I think it showed up with Pisces. Um, about doing the right thing and saying you're sorry and opening up about how you feel. Same thing here. I mean, and, and then we got you know we got Pisces here and we got Pisces here. Maybe you two. <laughs> there's this thing about Cancers and, and Pisces uh, dating each other or something. But maybe this is. I don't know, this is saying give back. Maybe they need to hear uh, that you are sorry or that you acknowledge that, yeah, you did do a lot in the relationship. And, you know, I thank you for it. And I'm sorry things didn't work out something. Maybe they need to hear that you want things to work out. You just don't know how or that you're working on trying to work things out. Could be that this was just a breakup, not an ending. Because I, I feel like they're wanting you to make the first move. They're mad as hell. And they're... But they still would like to hear from you. By, I mean, according to this, they still want to hear that you're sorry. That you, reg you have regrets. Cancer. This is somebody that felt like they could be vulnerable with you. It would go a long way if you were to able to be vulnerable and open up to them and have a heart-to-heart -heart talk. You were very uh, inspirational to them. You were very, you were their person. There was a definite love there. And they feel, I think, they're, part of the hurt and the anger is they feel betrayed because they're trying to sort out how they misunderstood so many things. And they just feel like it meant nothing to you because it, by all accounts, it seems like you're fine. And I think... It would go a long way if you were able to be vulnerable in front of them and, and to start, I guess, talking or trying to work your way back to them. They, I, I don't know. Don't get mad, Cancer. You're like, exes are exes for a reason. I know. But for this one in particular, I just, they think it was a good decision to end it. But they, I think that maybe, maybe this is just they want justice. Maybe it has nothing to do with an apology, but they want justice. They want recognition of all the hard work they put into the relationship and then to go and feel like, wait a minute, not everything was what it was seen. Were you lying to me? Was this all just a joke? And they're telling everybody you could listen and they walk away and they're just, 
it would go a long way, and I know I keep saying this, for you to approach them and offer an apology or offer just something, some kind of offer, giving back. It would help restore them. Maybe that's all it is. It's not about reconciliation or getting back together. It would just help bring them peace about it because this is going round and round and round and round. And maybe they want to know that you're you're feeling that way too. That it wasn't just them that was all in. That you were too. And that you, you felt you could be safe and vulnerable with them and you loved them. So that's part of the betrayal is they felt like they could be with you. And then, you know. All right. Cancer. Somebody's doing some inner child work. Somebody's, um, this, this has to do with somebody's unresolved trauma from the past. And maybe on both parts, but for whatever reason, and maybe that's why, you know, this is things, the subconscious issues coming up. Okay. So maybe they're thinking that the subconscious issues got in the way of the marriage, theirs and yours or the connected partnership, whatnot, but that there were, um, there were things outside of both of your control just kind of coming up that got in the way of the relationship. And that's what made it so murky and cloudy and like, wait, what's going on? I'm so confused. You know, maybe that's what they want you to own up to and to say, look, I'm sorry. I, you know, I let this get the better of me or I still have issues with this. I'm sorry. Maybe that's what it is, but they, I don't know. I don't, I don't think they'd shut you out, honestly. I don't think they'd turn you away if you came to them sincerely and authentically. It wouldn't be about getting back together. I think that's a long way off. But I think maybe just an authentic, sincere apology. Sorry, I keep saying that. I'll stop. I think you got the message right. All right, Cancer. God bless America. Pisces, really? <laughs> Jeez. I was just sitting here going, my God, I hope it didn't say Pisces earlier because I saw the moon and I was like, oh, damn it. And then I saw the, the hangman and then here we are. It's like, oh, God, okay. Um, maybe there's some kind of strong, like, planetary aspect or something. Um, okay. All right. So this is a soul full relationship. This is a relationship that was connected on the soul level. Um, this was a very connected, easygoing, it was like somebody found their fit. They could just swim around and feel safe and this whole thing. Where is it? What was the, this right here, this whole fluid, there was a fluidity to the relationship. It was, um, it was probably thriving which again is the confusion is all the more bitter because it was like, I thought things were one way and then just bam, you know, and this is, um, social, this is things being publicized or public or there are a lot of socialization. Um, a very quaint, I don't want to say, why do I want to say capable? It's, it's one of those that like, it was a very just active, connected, fluid couple. Um, this could be a sanctuary so that this person found a sanctuary with you. This is, you know, but this typically, this is about things being public. So on the one hand, it could be about online dating, someone not wanting to commit. There's a fluidity here. Now someone, um, didn't want to commit, but this is also when I see fish, I think of Pisces. Hello. Um, but anyway, cancer, this is about if we look at the cards and read them on their face, this is about no commitments, no strings attached, online dating, keeping things light and social. Okay. Um, perhaps this is saying that if you reached out publicly online, it would go a long way. It would be a successful venture. It would work out. There would be an easy give and take in the communication if you kept things, um, if you reached out publicly. I don't know about going and, and visiting or showing up, but maybe some online communication, because this is a, this, one of the things about this could be online communication, but, um, it also, honestly, I think to it speak, I think it speaks to the fluidity and connectedness of the relationship. And you each felt at home at one time. Okay. So this is like dual ended here. Um, this could suggest 
online communication. So if you were thinking, or maybe you're expecting some from them, maybe out of the blue it's going to happen. But this would say that about this whole giving back and um, acknowledging, you know, the difficulties in the relationship. Um, if you were inclined to do that, this could be uh, the way to go would be online. Just saying. And it almost feels like they're not, I don't know, I'm, I'm probably reading too much into it, but it's almost like cancer that it's like, they were, they, at one time they were able to be vulnerable with you and feel a sense of safety. And there was just this feeling of connectedness and fluidity that is gone now. So it's going to have to be um, online, almost public, where it can be shown to everybody else. Because that's what they're doing now anyway. They're talking to everybody about this. But uh, I, don't, I don't think this is about an in-person meeting. If you are going to establish contact, conflict, a conflict, if you are going to establish contact, I think this is about keeping things um, removed and um, sort of not lighthearted, but just civil and courteous. So that there's a flow and that it's not like this dramatic, you know, showing up at their house out of the blue or something. I don't, I don't think that would go over well. I think they're probably in a good place um, or trying to be. I think they're keeping things light. They're probably dating. So any kind of reaching out would have to be indirect. I don't think they'd appreciate any kind of uh, physical presence. I have no idea why I'm advising that or saying that. That's really random and strange. I'll just leave it there. Um, wow, Cancer, okay. Pisces on the brain, Scorpio on the brain, Cancer, wow. Uh, I wish you luck with this. Um, it's funny because this is saying like, okay, you don't know how to move forward. Well, right here, it's all about giving back, establishing, at least sending a message Look, I was going through something too. I'm really sorry. I acknowledge what you went through and what my culpability and going from there. Okay, I'm really stopping talking now. I appreciate you showing up. I wish you luck with this. I'm sorry it didn't work out. It looks like it's over for now, but this person is still really going through it. And I think any kind of sincere communication from you would go a long way. Um, good luck with this. Okay, you take care. I hope to see you in the next reading. Um, and thank you for stopping by.